Happy, happy Thursday. We are going to talk about making some to-go bags today. What's a to-go bag? A to-go bag is something that we need to have with us right now when we're entering any place, actually. Not just MP. Um, it's good to keep it in your car. If you have to run into the grocery store or anything like that, a to-go bag will help you. Um, it'll have your gloves, your sanitizer, Kleenex if needed, and a mask. So let's get started in making our sanitizer bags, or you can say safety kit, um, but I'm going to stick with your to-go bags. So let's get started with that. Right, let's get started and review our products. Um, I have Kleenex. I have my Nifty hand sanitizer. All right. So I have two pair of gloves that I'm going to put in my, I have a mask and I also have refillable because if I run out of this, um, I want to be able to refill it when I do not want to have to continue purchasing these little ones or even trying to find them right now. It's pretty hard, right? So I have this to refill. Okay. And I have my Ziploc bag. And I also have a nice little My Possibilities container. So first, I'm going to do the My Possibilities container because I like it, okay? So you don't always have to have a lot of things in your to-go bags, but I'm going to put my mask in here. I'm going to put my hand sanitizer. I'm going to slide that in now. And I'm also going to fold up a pair of those gloves and slide those in there. And then all I have to do is put the lid on. And now I have a nice little to-go kit. And this is good to leave in the car because if I'm running in the grocery store, all I have to do is take this off, put my mask on, put my gloves on, and I'm ready to run into the grocery store, okay? So this one's nice for your glove compartment or um, just leave in the console inside the car. So, they're very easy to make, but let's make one if I'm returning to my possibilities, which I could still use this one if I'm returning to MP, okay? So, what I want in mine if I'm returning, because all of us aren't returning to the building. So, if I'm returning, I have two pair of gloves that I'm going to put in my Ziploc bag. Uh, remember, if you don't have a Ziploc bag, that's fine. You can use any kind of little case. I like this one because I can Clorox it down um, every time I touch it or use it too. I put my gloves in. Now I'm going to put my mask in. And remember, just fold that. Um, let me place my mask in there. And then I'm going to place my Kleenex. If you have allergies right now, Kleenex are huge. Sneezing, coughing, it's really important to have your own Kleenex handy. Okay, now I'm going to put my most important sanitizer in my bag. And guess what? I'm ready to go. All right. Now, making these ahead, are, they're very helpful. You can place them in the car, in your book bag, and also um, in your purse just to have them. You can make several of them. Um, and remember, I always have an extra sanitize, um, a bigger bottle so that I can refill my smaller bottles because it's really hard to find the smaller to-go's right now. Also, let's talk about if you are returning to MP. It's so super important to stay hydrated, okay? So what I want to see you guys walk in the building, may not see you, <laughs> um, is a water bottle. Super important right now. We have to keep up our hydration and remembering it is not um, a safe thing to use the water fountains wherever you are right now. If I'm leaning over, putting my mouth on that or just being close to it using my hands and everything else. So your MP water bottles, that's where they come in handy right now. Right now you should have that or get a Ziploc bag and put two or three waters in it. If you're all day, it works as well. I want you guys to try making this. This is super important. Um, not just if you're returning to MP, it's important just to have it on you um, for safety reasons. Thank you for joining me and I want to see your bags being made. Love you, love you, and happy, happy Thursday.
hugs, 